This is Bob Ohm for a Cabinet Makers In The Shop session. What we're going to look at today is uh, Summerfield Tools Easy Set Jig. This is a jig that's assisting you in uh, setting up some of the more difficult router profiles. Uh, that would, uh, these are the router bit sets that maybe include two different profiles or reversible uh, profiles that would be, say, like a lock miters, raised panels, glue joints, drawer locks. And what I've uh, set up my shaper table here is a reversible glue joint. It's one of the more, I said one of the more difficult bits of setup because it's a lot of trial and error. When you have two pieces of stock that you want to join and you want them to come flush and without doing a lot of trial and error, this is a Nice advantage for that. The uh, jig itself has eight profiles, of some of which I just mentioned, which includes your reversal router bit. And the idea is by setting your stock thickness on your dial here, it's going to get you very close to a flush joint. So, what I'm going to do is measure my stock first. I've got a couple pieces of maple here. I'm going to measure. I'm using a digital caliper because it's a lot more exact. I'm measuring 0.878 on one end, 878 on the other end. Let's see, 0.874, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 0.875, 
joinery. And the uh, profile is well centered. You have about the even amount of distance on top and bottom of the cut. So it uh, worked out pretty close there. The uh, Summerfield also makes the jigs and uh, other profiles. I have a uh, jig here for uh, use on Freud, or bit, Freud router bits. See, I use this on a uh, door set here, the in raised panel door set, just a little bit ago. Let's see the uh, profiles. This was the first cut I made which match up again within a few thousandths of an inch well within this sanding range so and with the uh, when you have a two bit set once the first bit is set up in your jig well once the first bit is set up with your jig the second bit you just set in your collet and it should uh, give you the right match as the first set. Now what I did because my collet's kind of deep, I use the uh, I use a, I put a brass plug in, inside the bottom of the collets so that I get a positive stop on both of the bits. Now Summerfield actually makes a rubber collet that do the same uh, have the same effect on that. So whether it's one bit or reversible or two bits, you know what you only have to set up one time and. Uh, you know, once that's done, you're, uh, you're going to get you know, good uh, profile cuts after that.